was an amazing scintillating first semi-final there's an air of anticipation for this one this here is the second semi-final episode of the show that shines a spotlight on our nation's talented youth this is 12 and under welcome fans and friends to what has fast to become the extended family we never knew we needed as we come together to share in our Sunday evening ritual, we can reflect on that distant Sunday a few weeks ago when we met some very gifted young people who all came out to vie for a spot on the cast. So with me today is D, jo D Piano Girl, Joanna Chuckery. <laughs> Tim Tim is taking a little rest today. So Joanna, what do you remember feeling at that first show? Auntie v, I think I remember feeling really amazed with all of this young talent. Yeah. And you know, young people always come up to us and say, we are an inspiration. But I don't think they know that they truly inspire us. Absolutely. So I'm happy to be part of their creative journey. And it feels so good to be here. It really does feel good. I mean, we've come a long way. If you've been with us for a while, you know that this isn't any ordinary talent show because I keep saying it every week because of course it's true. We're dedicated to building and evolving the 12 and under fellowship and empowering our young people to strive for their best in all ways at all times. Last week's semi-final was a reminder that talent-wise, we are in great hands. Let's take a look back. your performance, the way you presented yourself. The phantom of the opera is there. Well done. Take a bow. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> yes, well done. I love the Eddie Street Harmony. He finds somewhere like a symphony in my life. I always enjoy seeing you on stage. You just bring, bring my face to life. <laughs> <laughs> You have a fantastic future ahead of you as a panist, and I wish you all the best going forward in the competition. Wake up, rise up. Life is too short, no time to waste. Judgment day is coming soon. You're doing an excellent job with playing a guitar that is large. <laughs> <laughs> excellent work. Even though my oil wells are drying, you continue to pump because it's in your blood. Certainly at your age, you're cut above. I want to congratulate you. You're clean. Clean, clean, clean. In terms of the playing, the rules, everything, it's, it's really an excellent presentation. I am very, very, very moved and emotional actually right now seeing your piece. Congrats, Thank you. sweetheart. to have a live audience here with us again. I was so nervous last week. But your support is encouragement enough to keep on doing what we're doing. Thank you for being with here. Thank you for being here with us at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies in Valsain, a pillar in the training and education landscape in this country. Named after the champion of the barefoot man, Arthur Cipriani, the college has been building thought leaders in labor relations and worker culture since its official launch in 1966. So it's a perfect match for the 12 and under family, which keeps growing stronger with each passing week. This week's semi-finalists are backstage gearing up to take center stage. And in case you're wondering who they are, here's a little reminder.
Aidan Ramsumer. Sabri Siposad. Jaleo Charles. That bullet affects us all. Jaden Roberts. Janaya Clark. I will always be there for you. Kale Pike. Redemption songs. And Javon Harrington. I'm still a child. Ethan Gosain. We're joined by our esteemed panel of judges. With us this week are veteran Calypsonian Brian London, who started his career as a youth, just like some of our contestants. Dr. Leah Brown, mezzo-soprano and assistant professor of voice at the Academy for the Performing Arts at UTT. Fareed Carvalho, mass man, actor, performer, playwright, and all-around creative. And Anthony Woodruff, senior instructor of music at the University of Trinidad and Tobago, who started playing as a youth and honed his talent from then onwards. To date, he's a prominent fixture on the local jazz scene, Anthony Woodruff. Let's welcome our judges. just being a talent show, we acknowledge the reach of this platform and we're dedicated to being part of the work towards transformation. So today we're focused on the importance of respecting our environment. In the wake of the recent floods which have disrupted lives in many of our communities, we're asked again to consider all the ways in which we know we've made missteps and can take action towards correction and restoration of our environment, natural or otherwise. So judges, you're mentors as well. So what's on your mind these days with reference to environmental repair and preservation? Dr. Brown? Hi, Auntie V. Hi. I think one of the things that is most neglected in terms of environmental protection is soil preservation, especially in Trinidad and Tobago. You know, making sure that our soil is healthy enough and contains all the nutrients we need right. to produce good food. Because without good soil, we don't have good food, and without good food, we will die. Absolutely. So I think it's one of the things we really need to concentrate on these days. I hear that totally, I hear that. And as mentors, do you have any words of encouragement for our semi-finalists today, Fareed? Well, you know, being in the industry for the past 23 years, I definitely think my advice to the young ones today in the performing arts, we definitely have to have discipline. Mm. We definitely have determination. You know, in this, in this creative sector, anything and everything is attainable and achievable once you put your mind to it. Yeah. You know, and, and, and for me, I'm excited to be here today because many, many, many moons ago, I used to watch this program and I was even in creative arts then. Right. So, you know, I, I applaud the production house and the great dynamic professional team here today. It takes a lot to put this kind of professional production together. And you're like giving a, a chance, a platform to the young generation, our future generation, um, to believe and to hope. And, you know, today I'm really also excited too because I believe everybody is born with ability. I think anybody can learn technique. But what I'm here, truly here for today, is to see raw talent, and most importantly, just that unk of star quality when these contestants walk on the stage today. I hear you. I hear that. So performers, I hope you all are listening. Thank you so much, judges. Behind every great show, there's a great support system. All of this would be a dream if it weren't for our sponsors. So the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, the Office of the Prime Minister, the Sport and Culture Fund, Creamery Novelties, the National Petroleum Marketing Company of Trinidad and Tobago, National Flower Mills, Radio Shack, 
Lifetime Solutions, Piranha International, Natanical Beauty Spa, and special thanks to Five Islands Water and Amusement Park, who just graciously sponsored our Wow Factor Prize with 10 passes to their park. So thank you for your contribution to our program. We are very grateful. Joanna, of course, we appreciate you too, eh? We have so much more in store, so let's get something to groove on while we head off to a break. Here we go. Ah, we're going right back right there. <laughs> Make it a better place. journeys have a beginning and a purpose and when one ends another begins with highs with twists and turns and with victories NP for all life's journeys. Whether wet or dry season, hazards can strike without warning, causing you or your family to quickly evacuate. You may not have the time to grab the essentials. Be sure to have your grab and go bag in easily accessible locations. Here are the top seven categories that should be included and tailored to your family's need. One, non-perishable food items, water and utensils. Two, please aid kit and extra medication. Three, personalized items. Four, change of clothing and comfortable footwear. Five, copies of important documents such as birth papers and certificates. Six, cash and small bills. And seven, tools, safety items and equipment. For more information on how to be ready, visit odpm.gov.tt. A message from the ODPM. Welcome back, everyone. I'm the piano girl, Johanna, and I'm backstage here at Cipriani College of Labor. And with me is Aidan Ramsamir. Aidan, how are you doing? I'm fine. Aidan, I could get a bounce. Psh, okay, we practice that during the break. Aidan, one of the things that we're talking about today is how much we care about the environment. Do you care about the environment? Yes, very much. All right. So tell me, what are some of the ways that recycling could benefit us with the environment? Recycling benefits the environment in many ways. Yes. Firstly, it reduces land and water pollution. Right. It reduces greenhouse gases and air pollution and also deforestation. Wow. It helps... Um, conserve natural resources. That's true, conserving and it energy. saves energy. Awesome. So we should try to incorporate more recycling in our everyday lives, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, awesome. Aidan, let's do that once again. Huh? <laughs> Coming to you now is multi-instrumentalist Aidan Ramsamir, who has his keyboard and steel pan set up on stage, ready to wow you with his rendition of one of my favorite songs, Savannah Grass. Everybody on stage, Orlando, if you're coming down from the mountain.
<laughs> well done. That was great. <laughs> well done, Aidan. Well done, Aidan. So I know you heard all of that happening on the inside there. I heard a little bit of Jahaji Bai inside there too. So yeah, tell me about that arrangement. Who helped you with that arrangement? I made my arrangement. My mom told me what sounded good and what didn't. Right. And my <laughs> panty just sort of helped me to fix it up. Oh, your panty just helped you. That was lovely. Okay, so judges, here's Aidan for you. Hi, Aidan. So fantastic performance, first of all. Um, I really enjoyed the, the, the use of the quotation, which is a thing that musicians tend to do to get the audience involved by referencing things that they'll be familiar with. You look quite dashing in your yes. jacket and your, your suit, yes. so that's another important aspect. <laughs> So I'm, I'm sure we, we all know that performance is not just the music that you play, and you did an excellent job. I will say that there are things that we come into in time, so being comfortable with movement, mm -hmm. I think that's something that you can work on. Um, but it was a very entertaining performance, and I can tell that you enjoyed it as well. So, well done. <laughs> Hi, Aidan. Good, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice, lovely. So, <laughs> Mr. Woodruff actually stole my, my thunder ah. there. <laughs> Love the outfit. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have to tell you where you bought your jacket so I can go and get one myself. <laughs> coming up. But love the jacket. Um, I love the idea of, of transitioning between the piano and the pan because I think the, the, the tones are a bit similar. So, I love the idea of transitioning between, between both. Um, I can see you on the savannah grass <laughs> playing that tune. Again, very entertaining performance. And as Auntie V said, what I noticed immediately as you went along was that hint of jazz. <laughs> so good use of that as well. Wonderful performance. Keep plugging away. And you can only get better, as Mr. Woodruff said, as you go along. You can only get better. Right? Lovely performance. Thanks very much for entertaining us this evening. <laughs> Thank you so much, judges, and thank you, Master Aidan. Thank you for that. Thank you as well. It was really a privilege to be here today. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Our next participant is vocalist Kale Pike. <laughs> Kale, congratulations on making it to the semifinals. Thank you, Auntie V. Listen, they you're, see you're seeing the outfits today, are you? Look, so tell me about the last two weeks. So tell me what you did to prepare for this performance today. Well, I went by my music teacher and she helped me learn with the song. Oh, so your music teacher helped as you. As well as my father. As well as daddy. And I also went to school. <laughs> so good balance. Ladies and gentlemen, Kale Pike with his version of The Impossible Dream. <laughs> Too worried and 
soulful performance skill. How do you feel about that? I feel awesome. I feel awesome too. Judges, some feedback for Kale. Hi, Kale. Hi. Hi, that was a very moving, very touching performance. You are very good at doing what we are called variations on your melody. Um, it's very good for someone your age to be able to do that and move away from the melody the way you did and still stay in tune. Okay? Um, okay? Yes, it was very, very, very good. Um, I like that. I like the way that you uh, moved from one position to another to tell the story because that's the most important part of singing always, that you tell us the story of the song, and you achieved that very, very well. Okay? So thank you. For, 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 and I had a dream. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> what is that dream? To have a baby sister. Oh, my. <laughs> Mommy, I hope you are taking notes. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I hope that's not the impossible dream, you know? Hi, Kiel, how are you? Awesome. That's good to hear. So I must tell you, your stagecraft and presentation was absolutely amazing. You're such a confident young man, right? Um, when, you were, when you were emoting during your song, it is amazing, however... You have a tendency, and I came early today and I saw you in your rehearsal, you have a tendency of closing your eyes. A performer needs to be seen and be seen, yes? So while you're emoting, and it was an amazing emoting, you have to keep your eyes open and watch the audience and connect with the audience, all right? Okay. But good luck, and I hope to see you in the finals. <laughs> thank you so much, judges, and thank you, KL, to stay here with me. We've seen our first two performers, and there are six more waiting in the wings. We're coming back to you soon, but before we go to break, let's hear this important message from Sadhguru on Save Soil. We are talking about climate change, carbon emissions, and global warming, and various other aspects, but we are not addressing soil. Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. 
Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying we have only 45 to 50 years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing 40% less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. The food shortages that could manifest in the next 25 years, the consequences of that is unimaginable. What we are facing now is soil extinction. Why is soil becoming extinct? Where is it going away? What is happening to our soil? We must understand if you add organic content to sand, sand will turn into soil. If you remove all organic content from the soil, soil will become sand. In normal agricultural soil, the minimum organic content should be between three to six percent. The most minimum is three percent. At least this minimum to keep the soil alive, to keep the soil as living soil is a must. Agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy. In most countries, more than 50% of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. The level of micronutrients you would get from your food in early 20th century to what you are getting from the same food now has dropped 90%. If you ate one orange in 1920s, what you got from it, now in 2020, if you have to get the same, you will have to eat eight oranges. Soil is the biggest ecosystem on the planet, and so few people know anything about it. One teaspoon of healthy soil probably contains more microbes than there are people on Earth. The microbial life in the first 12 to 15 inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. This first 12 to 15 inches of soil is the basis of life for 87% of life on this planet, including you and me. Open soils, ripped open by plowing, open to sunlight, is the basis of destruction of microbial life. So the focus should be on agriculture, the focus should be on seeing that land is under shade as much as possible. Some kind of shade, grasses, herbs, bushes, trees, Conscious Planet is launching Save Soil Movement to bring about a policy change to regenerate soil. We must change the narrative on the planet that soil is a wealth, a legacy we have received from previous generations and we have to pass it on as living soil for future generations. We are in a cusp of time, if you do the right things now, in the next 15 to 25 years, we can significantly turn this situation around and regenerate the soil. The whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. We must hear the word soil, save soil everywhere. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can and let us make it happen. Oh, I've got this feeling to high five the sun, dance in the rain, and have my scoop of fun. I'm on my way to flavor my day with something new, and I've got room for you. Let loose and live a little, get close and share a little. Join you, Creamery Novelties. Live a little. Have you ever experienced an unexpected power outage? The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management has some important and simple tips to help you and your loved ones be better prepared for a power outage in the event of a disaster. 1. Ensure that you have candles and extra torch lights as alternate sources of lighting. 2. Keep fully charged power banks to recharge your devices. 3. Use hand-cranked radios to receive updates from official sources. 
Four, if possible, keep a power generator or AC inverter that can be connected to a car battery to use as an alternate source of power. Five, ensure your grab-and-go bags and home emergency kits are packed and ready. The ODPM wants you and your loved ones to be better prepared. For more information, visit www.odpm.gov.tt. A message from the ODPM. and we're being entertained by some talented young people who all stand a chance to walk away with one of our top three prizes. The grand prize, a trip for three to Disney of $50,000 cash. Second place gets a trip for three to Barbados of $25,000 cash. And third place will take home a trip for three to Grenada of $15,000 in cash. I am so excited by these prizes. There are lots more prizes as well, but you're going to have to stay tuned to find out. In the meantime, help me welcome our third performer, Miss Jalea Charles. <laughs> Jalea, it's so nice to have you on 12 and under. Congratulations on making it to the semifinals. Thank you. So, the theme this week is talking about respecting the environment. So I want you to tell me, because of course, I'm here to learn from you as well, what is one thing that you think I could do or anyone could do to show respect for the environment? The way I think people could respect our environment is to stop littering. Yes, and yes, she said with a punch to stop littering. Do we agree with Julia? Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to stop littering. So, ladies and gentlemen, Jalea is ready with her dramatic presentation called Nowadays. Yes. It has never been this hard. Being eight in Trinidad. Waking up to pucks. 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 Inflation and the endless tax. The rich, the middle class, the poor, status is no closed door. The big, the small, short or tall, that bullet affects us all. The gunpowder and hate leaves you. What's that unknown fate? There's no Irony with being shot in a parking lot for a paved piece of road. Oh, I mean a parking spot. Trinidad and Tobago is losing its beauty because crime affecting we. The raging Red Sea and countless R.I. P. No respect for the elderly, but believe it or not, this is our society. I want to help change our nation state, so I will become a magistrate. I will be the change I want to see, making a better TNT. So every day to God I pray to live to see another day. Good job, Julia. Good job. What stood out for me? Being the change. I want to be the change that I want to see. I love that. I heard a, a little difference in the presentation. Do you, you and mommy still? Nice. Okay, well, over to you, judges. Good evening. How are you? Good. Well, I must tell you that your articulation, your projection, your energy was on fire. Right, audience? <laughs> Full 100. And a little creativity with the red paint, 
um, and your costume. It depicted everything, your character. So whoever helped you with that, round of applause to them also too. Yes? My only minor critique, and it's very minor, that the next time, take center stage, you know? You are the actress, unless you were told to come to the side of the stage. We want to see more of you, all right? But congratulations. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week in the final rounds. Thank you. Hi, Julia. Hi. So I think it was a very engaging performance. It was also very physical with the jumping around and doing that and, and being able to speak clearly and get your message across is not the easiest thing to do. So I commend you on that because I was transfixed. I was listening to what you were saying. Your message is very, very topical and it is very important. So I think as artists, we all have to make sure that what we say and when we say it, it has meaning. So I look forward to a future beyond this competition for you doing spoken word or anything that you put your mind to because I think you would be a very, very important force in our community and our country. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Farid and Tony. And thank you, Jalea. Thank you. Joanna is backstage with one of our performers. Joanna, who's with you? I am here with Ethan Gosain. Ethan, what would you say to others to encourage them to stop littering? To encourage others to stop littering, I would educate them on how bad it is for the environment yes. and our wildlife because it causes flash flooding and climate change and so on. So true, because if we litter, our future will be bitter. Say it with me. If, if we, we litter, litter, our, our future, future will, will be, be better. better. Ethan, ready to head to, the, head to the stage? Yes. All right. Are we supposed to do something? <laughs> They say when there's music in your soul, there's soul in your music. Let's give it up for Ethan Gosain singing with all his heart and soul, Listen by Beyonce.
Good job. Listen. Now, I'm a singer, but there are some songs that I never go anywhere close to. This is one of them. Ethan, why would you choose this song? Why did you choose this? I chose this song because... Because? <laughs> why do you choose it? You like it? Yes. You sing it a lot? Yes, but other, than, but other than I liking it, um, we don't know what others are feeling and what they are going through. Oh, okay, Ethan. Well, I think you did a great job. <laughs> you are a brave boy. Over to you, panel. <laughs> You're brave. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Ethan. I like that answer. You know why I like that answer? Because it, it, it says to me that you think while you sing yes. and that the importance of conveying the message of the song is what is important to you. Thank and I you. want you to, to keep that, okay? Thank you, you. You have a very good range, a very extensive range, but I need you to be careful when you get to the top of the range that you don't sound like you're shouting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I really, really enjoyed your performance and I want you to continue along that path. Remember, practice, practice, practice is the key. Okay? All Thank right. you. Very nice. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. You definitely had me, I would say, had us listening. <laughs> <laughs> so a very good choice of songs, a difficult choice of song, <laughs> but appropriate choice of song. Again, you had the, the audience listening. You had us listening. Um, as you grow, you will also learn um, what we call stagecraft, to utilize the stage a bit more, mm -hmm. a step to the right, step to the left, step forward, to kind of engage the audience. But as you grow, you, you are going to grow into that. But I'm, I'm sure that today they heard you all the way in South, <laughs> and they would be listening as you get older. Right? Well done. Hope to see you in the future doing greater and better things. Thanks very much for entertaining us. Thank, Thank you, you, Jarvis. Thank you. And thank you. Good job, right? You're welcome. Thank you. So I hope you all are enjoying your time here with us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't want to be anywhere but right here with all of you, sharing in this display of appreciation of the arts. Right now, we want to send some love to our sponsors again, our flagship partner this time, the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, and the Minister, the Honorable Randall Mitchell. This stage sets the course for many of our future cultural ambassadors, and we're happy that you believe in this vision, so thank you. Stay put, guys, because we've got four more performers ready and willing to take the stage. Don't go anywhere. journeys have a beginning and a purpose and when one ends another begins with twists and turns and with victories NP for all life's journeys TDT News committed accurate relevant relevant
Welcome back to 12 and Under, everyone. Here with me backstage is Sabri Sipasad. How are you doing? I'm good. So we've been chatting with all the contestants about the environment, right? And tell me, what do you think you would do to save the environment? I think I will save the environment by doing more to stop pollution yes. and to save water. And to save water. So you heard it, stop pollution and to conserve water. Sabri, it's now time for us to see you perform, to dance for us, okay? So we're going to go to the stage. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Two, three, go. <laughs> Here to captivate us with her rhythmic yet graceful movement is Sabri Sipasad dancing to Pranavalaya. Pranavalaya pahi Paripalaya parameshi Kamalalaya shri de Save Karuna Burasi. Sad. You are such an expressive dancer, dancing like way beyond your years. So I'm interested in finding out who do you look at? Who's like your favorite dancer? My mommy, Mohani Sipasar. Your mommy? So you're dancing in the house? Yes. Seriously? <laughs> That's a real advantage. Wow. So you have inspiration right inside her own home. That's wonderful. Mom is doing a great job. So let's hear what the judges say to Sabri. Miss Sipasad, how are you? <laughs> Good. How old are you? I am 10 years old. What is your dream by winning 12 and under? Well, <laughs> um, maybe go out with my parents. That's okay. what <laughs> And where do you see yourself in the dance world within the next 10 years? A big dancer. Well, I think big is a relative term in my dictionary. I think you're beyond big. I think you have natural star quality. 
Thank you. From the start of the performance to the end and even during, I was mesmerized. I could not take my eyes off of you. Your Thank command you. of the stage, your characterization, the way you interacted and engaged the audience was absolutely astounding. Congratulations. <laughs> And I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to see you in big, as your word, big places within the next few years. Thank you. Hi, Sabri. Hello. So the outfit is elaborate. It's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. The makeup, the presentation, it's all fantastic. Thank you. But more than anything else, what what style of it is it dance is it katak or is it no barnetium okay what what stood out to me was the fine movements with your hands and then the expression on your face and Thank to you. be able to do those things while making the larger movements i think it speaks to your your work ethic and and the work that you've put in as a dancer and i agree with Farid where i i see big things for you in the future Thank you. Thank you so much, judges, and thank you to Sabri. Light over darkness, a concept we can all celebrate every day of the year. Some of our participants took to the Diwali Nagar, and this is what went down. Take a look. about different traditional Indian ways such as the linga. At the Wali Nagara, I learned about the utensils to cook and I sang on the stage and I saw deers. At the Wali Nagara, I learned the history behind the clothing the, the different types of plants and the different designs of mehendi. Mehendi, also known as henna, is made with a cone with a paste. The paste is made out of leaves. So we use this paste, which causes a stain on your hand. Well, my hands are dirty, but this is the stain that comes up on your skin. It lasts for at least about two weeks. So normally, mehendi was done for brides. It is a tradition that we follow in the East Indian culture. I liked the chocolates and the plants the most. At the Diwali Nagar, I learned that Mother Lakshmi is the goddess of prosperity and wealth. What I learned is that we have different ways of worshipping our gods. So Javan, did you go to the Diwali Nagar this year? Yes, I did. Was it your first time? Yes, it was my first time. Really? I remember my first time was really nice. Was there anything that you remember you liked about it? I remember learning the history behind the clothing, the tools used to make food, yes. and the antique cars. And the antique cars. Yes. Wonderful. So clothing, food, and cars. I love that. Jevan, you ready to sing for us today? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, I'm here. really, really looking forward to your performance. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Let's welcome Javan Harrington to the stage now with his smooth voice and heartfelt performance of You Are The Reason by Callum Scott. Diego 
in the Caribbean, you understand? Because I like that song, but the nice little kind of reggae bounce, I love that. So tell me, how did that feel to you? How did that song make you feel? It made me feel happy and proud. Ah, yes, happy and proud. Okay. <laughs> Panel, we're waiting on you. Hi, young man. I just pushed you up from standard four to standard five. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right, I, I, I love the fact is, first of all, let me ask you is, Reggae, your favorite type of music, or you have another favorite type of music? Well, it kind of is. Reggae is kind of, <laughs> yeah. So okay. I, I catch that, and I love that you put that reggae twist to the song. It brought it home to us. Um, a real smooth voice and a smooth performance. And I loved in the end that you engage your audience. The little wave and the, the vibes. It shows that you try understanding that. The crowd is a part of your performance, and you, you perform to entertain people. So, well done. Thank you very much. Yes, Javan, you do have a lovely voice. Yes. And I, I, I look forward to hearing what your voice develops into as you grow older. One little thing you have to keep in mind at all times, that if we don't understand what you're saying, we can't follow the story. So you have to articulate a little better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your diction needs a little bit of work. But you have such a lovely tone that it made up for it in many ways, because you have a beautiful tone. And your range, you go very easily from one part of your range to another. OK? So just work on that diction so that we can understand fully what you're trying to tell us as a, as a performer. OK? Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Dr. Brown. Thank you, Brian. And thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Guys, remember 
The top three prizes we spoke about earlier, well, those are not the only prizes we have for our participants. In addition to those, performers could be awarded the prize for the best vocal performance, best dance, best instrumental piece, best performance with the biggest wow factor, the best chair team, best national message, and the best dress or costume. We have Ting. This is 12 and under. So we are on the home stretch and we have two more performers to go. So take a little stretch, get some water, but don't go far. We will be right back. The Atlantic hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? For those with babies, children and the elderly, advanced planning can be important. Double check your baby supplies and stock up on non-perishable items. Diapers, wet wipes, medication, canned or bottled baby food, basic toiletries, soap, shampoo, toothpaste, toilet paper, paper towels. Also, you should have these stocked. Disinfectant, bleach, insecticide, candles, matches, wind-up or battery-powered clock and charcoal for outdoor use. This message... Courtesy TTT Limited. TTT wants to hear from you. What would you like to see? Join our online survey and tell us. Click on ttt.live backslash survey or scan the QR code on the screen to provide feedback on our television programming. We can't wait to hear from you. show i know the show is going by too fast but that's what happens when you're having fun and you are having fun right yeah. nice. so thanks again to our sponsors we thanks again to our sponsors we could be here enjoying talent on offer today we see you sponsors and blessings for seeing us too did i tell you all thanks for coming out yes. well thank you so much for coming and sharing your energies with us we're appreciative of it thank you for being here so help me welcome now our penultimate performer, Jaden Roberts. <laughs> Jaden has a whole crew here. So Jaden, this episode we're talking about environmental consciousness and being environmentally friendly. So tell me a couple of the things you think I could do when I head on home to be considered someone who is environmentally conscious. One thing you can do to be environmentally conscious and clean is don't burn plastics, right. recycle your plastics, and create compost bins so that our soil can become clean. Ah, oh boy. <laughs> we, have some we have some environmental professionals here. So everyone, here's Jaden Robertson Piano playing a medley of classical soca and jazz. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys. Thank, thank to make you move. Thank to make you move. How do you feel about that? I feel great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Judges, Jaden is waiting. Hi, Jaden. So, excellent performance. I think you have a tremendous amount of focus um, yeah. that it takes to move from one piece. Well, it's a medley, but from one style to the other. So, let me ask you a quick question. How much do you practice? Well, <laughs> for the past week, yeah. every night when I come home, do my homework, talk a little bit more friends, practice until it's like 10 o'clock in the night, <laughs> late, late, have me waking up late on it for the next day of school. Well, I appreciate that, but uh, let me give you a little bit of advice. So when you're trying to learn something, it's not about spending tremendous amounts of time. It's about doing it frequently. So a little bit in the morning before you go to school, anytime, like take a break, practice, take a break, practice, take a break, and it will help you move forward. I think you have tremendous potential. The technique is awesome. Um, think about your song choices a little bit more, but apart from that, excellent performance. Thank you. Hi, Tevan. What is your favorite style of music of the three that you played there? What's your favorite? Out of the three that I played just now, my favorite has to be swing, the last one, swing jazz. <laughs> yes, and we could feel that in you. You have a real feel for swing as well. And sometimes, it, it, it does us good to concentrate on the things that we love and we're most passionate about. You know, it's nice to be able to play everything. But if you recognize that you really love something, that's the thing that you must spend your time on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The I, thing that really you're passionate about that really drives you. Mm -hmm. I would love to hear you play some more swing. All right? Thank you so much for entertaining us. You're welcome. Thanks, Doc. Thanks to the judges. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Jaden. And Joanna's got a final performer. Let's see what they're doing backstage. Oh, things are going great, Auntie V. I'm here with none other than Janaya Clark, who's been eagerly awaiting to perform backstage. But first, I want to find out, what do you like to do when you're not singing? Tell me, what's your favorite outdoor activity? My favorite outdoor activity is riding my bike. Riding. Are you good at it? Yes. You think you could teach me? Yeah. A thing or two? All right. I'm going to hold you to that, huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, we are heading back to the stage for our final performer with a truly inspirational and heartwarming song. Here's Janiah Clark singing Calypso Rising. <laughs> Because to folklore and become 
You are Calypso Rising. That's a big song. What does that song mean to you? Calypso Rising means to me Calypso music come coming out of colonialism and it's something that I and everybody else should be proud of. I don't know what to say. Janaya. <laughs> Are you sure you're seven? Well, I'm actually eight well. now. <laughs> She's eight. Well, you performed as though you were older than seven, so I guess you were older than seven. I, I thought so. <laughs> um, do you love Calypso music? Yes, I do. Is it your favorite type of music? Well, it's maybe <laughs> kind of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, a good choice of song, a great use of the stage. Um, your mic technique is also good. Um, for a seven-year-old, I can see you having a... Eight-year-old, sorry, I do apologize. <laughs> I can see you having a, a, a bright future in Calypso music, so I think you should focus on making Calypso music your favorite music, because I see you having a great future in it. Absolutely. Um, as I said, good use of stage and overall performance was excellent. Thank you for performing one of my favorite Calypso songs today. Thank you very much and well done. Thank you. Ms. Janaya Clark, how are you? Great. So what school do you go to? I go to San Fernando Girls and Lacan School. <laughs> So now that you're eight years old, what standard are you in? I am in standard two. So I must ask you, who helps you with your music and your stage performance? Well, I mostly teach myself, but my mommy, Miss Joanne Foster, and Miss Malika help me. Oh, well, nice. I would love to give those teachers a round of applause. Please, y'all. <laughs> I must tell you, when you first came out on the stage, I saw, uh, well, I won't say tiny, talk to offend you because you're eight, but I did see a very small, petite, and very beautiful young lady. Yes. But then when you opened your mouth, you exploded into a giant. Yes. <laughs> I think your command of the stage, I think your interaction and engagement with the audience, I could not take my eyes off of you. I don't even know how to judge right now because... <laughs> I think you should do it over again. I was so enthralled in your performance. I, I, I commend you. I salute you. And you're definitely going to be, mark my words, a giant very soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, judges. Thank you. And thank you very much, Janaya. Take care, right? You're welcome. Thank you. We are at the end of our performance segment for today. That was a fun ride, right? Yes. So let's show some love for our second set of semi-finalists. <laughs> so as I said, we're at the end of the performance segment for today, but stick around. The show is not over yet. Don't move. Kids, speak up against abuse. It is not acceptable for you to be abused in any manner. From your parents, family members, members or peers. You, you, you have the right to refuse, to refuse the abuse. Report it to anyone. Guidance counselors, doctors, 
teachers, or even your neighbors. Anyone, anyone who can help. Speak up. Against abuse. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Break the silence. Child abuse is one secret you should never keep. TTT News, online and fully interactive. Follow us on social media at TTT Live Online. And we have to show our gratitude to them for being so generous with their talents and sharing them with us all. We also want to encourage everyone here and those of you looking on from wherever you are to take care of our environment. Not only should we live in harmony with people around us, but we have to be mindful of the little things that we do that can have a big impact on our environment. So do something to make a positive difference today. Plant a tree, recycle your plastic bottles, don't litter, and let's ask our representatives and those in authority what is being done to preserve our wetlands, our wildlife, our hillsides, and how we can contribute to restoration of what was lost. I'm sure you can think about a million other ways you could, your actions could lead to a better environment. So with that being said, this is where I take my leave. Those performers who were selected to move forward from today's show would receive a call with the very exciting news. The children who don't make it beyond this round, you'll get book vouchers and vouchers from Creamery Novelties. We have prizes for everyone. You are part of the 12 and under family and we take care of family here. Stay tuned to TTT and our 12 and under Facebook and Instagram pages for all the updates and of course, to see who's gonna be moving forward to the final. All you ready for that? <laughs> Me too. Special thank you to our sponsors and partners. Big thanks to our judges, my co-hosts, Tim Tim who wasn't here today, and the piano girl, Johanna Chakri. Endless love to all our performers and their parents and guardians, the TT crew, and to you, our viewers, and our fabulous live audience. Thank you. Thank you for being with us here. Remember, you can vote for your favorite right now at 12nunder.com. 12nunder.com. I'm Auntie V, reminding you to walk in your truth always. Take care, everybody.